the um, punishment of exile in itself does not involve um, a, a penal experience. However, if you were convicted of a criminal conviction, then um, your sentence would usually involve hard labour, which would take place within a prison, followed by exile. For those who are administratively exiled, that is, they are exiled without recourse to a court, they um, would not have any formal prison sentence inside, within, their, within their punishment, but in practice they would spend somewhere between a minimum of weeks and a maximum of years in squalid transfer prisons en route from the centre of Russia to the peripheries, to, to eastern Siberia. Um, and then when you actually get to your exile destination, so your exile destination would normally be a named village or a named region, um, exiles themselves are often quite startled to finally arrive and have no uh, confines, no controls, that they will go and live with their friends, that they, they, they have no restriction whatsoever except to be registered once a week. In eastern Siberia, the conditions were um, generally quite harsh, although this really depended upon your personal circumstances. If you were comparatively wealthy, so if you had some family support or if you had support from a particular political party, then you could possibly live reasonably well in exile, as many famous exiles like Lenin did. Um, if, however, like the majority of exiles, you were from a lower class background, you didn't have any money behind you, then your experience in exile would be primarily determined by a desperate struggle to find work because you would not be provided for by the state. You would need to work in order to live and finding work in a very sparsely populated location um, with very limited um, uh, uh, industry and agriculture meant that it was very, very difficult. So people really struggled just to live on their day-to-day -day means. Comparatively few women were um, sent to exile as a punishment. Uh, very, very small numbers of women uh, make up the number of criminal convicts and a larger but still very small proportion of political exiles were women. Um, however, I think that we need to incorporate the women that followed male convicts into exile because these followers, although they were not convicted of any crime and they were not intended to be punished, they actually suffered the same pains of punishment that the menfolk did. Um, in terms of, it, it's difficult to make generalisations about distinctions between male and female experience in exile. I think we can certainly say that women without the protection of men in what was a, um, a very volatile, undergoverned environment were um, vulnerable to attack and particularly to sexual assault. And we can also say, um, based on the records that we have, that the women followers who followed their, their husbands and menfolk into exile um, were often in the most sorry state of poverty um, and they often ended up working in, um, in, in the sex trade in order to um, scrape a living together. Well, the February Revolution brought a quite abrupt end to the late imperial system of punishment. So the February Revolution, which happened in Petrograd, um, spread out across the country and all over the empire in the urban centres. Um, prisoners were freed from prisons. Um, often um, c criminal prisoners were released at the same time as the politicals that were the crowd's kind of uh, targets. Um, and this may have contributed to something of a crime wave in 1917. But this kind of window was really short-lived, although um, exile was formally abolished by the provisional government in April of 1917. The um, regime, the Soviet regime, which emerged from the ashes of Russia's terrible civil war, was very quick to utilise geography as punishment in much the, using the same um, tropes that the late imperial state had done, but they took all these um, models of punishment to very new extremes, and I don't think that you can make any direct comparison in terms of the scale and scope between late imperial and Soviet systems of punishment.